like Steve Silva, I, I believe that you have some of those elements for sure. But I also think that you're actively processing many of the features that, that go into that. And I think one of the, the major differences is Henry, at, you're 28, you were born in 19... Uh, 92. 92. And then Steve, you're... 23. 23. So he's got five years of adult experience on you in which he traveled to, I think, name the countries again. <laughs> Germany, China, and Philippines. Right? And so like, I, I wouldn't, this is another example of like, not, not using your immediate, not using our immediate, don't, Jeff Anderson, please don't compare yourself to a 50 year old Japanese man when you're, when you've been there for three months, right? Yeah. Steve Silva, like, you know, if we, if we all consider our adult life to start at 18, so now you're 23, so you've got five years of adult life. So Henry is exactly twice as old as you <laughs> in his adult life, right? And he's leveraging all of that wisdom and experience in order to, I mean, and, and deep, you see how, how, how deep of a thinker he is, right? Just like you are. But I would just like, we're in separate stages. And so when, when one of the things that I, I'm hoping is that you, that we as a team can support each of us in those different stages but I don't want to, one of the challenges that I've had is when we're in the content creation phase of answering the question, how do we go from the classroom to the bank in each of our lives? That's a very, very different goal than what are some of the features of learning how to get paid to learn and developing a vision for how I'm going to go from the classroom to the bank. The type of questions and the type of interactions are very different, right? And I think one of the reasons that our, our meetings have been so full is because we're trying to, we're, we're actually navigating different spaces simultaneously, right? Okay. Henry's, Henry's vision is like, he are, he, I, I would say um, he is one of the most, uh, he has one of the most well-developed, he's able to articulate his vision from, for the classroom to the bank as strong as anybody I've ever met in my teaching career. And he also is, has an entrepreneurial spirit that pre-exists our me ever meeting him. I, you know, I, th I think that's something that his mother, God bless her. Right. And like, we get to, one of the benefits for us is we're, we're like really enjoying that on a daily basis. And I know those things are true about you too, Steve, but I also believe that you deserve the space and, you know, capacity to like develop some of the, the other pieces of that so that if, and when you decide on whatever model you have for what you want to do with your future it will be based on you know deep thinking about all of the rather than a flippant de decision right and i think right now one of the challenges is that when we're conflating the conversations about like well how do you get scholarships <laughs> right like, like what scholarship are you going to go for next like how do you that those type of conversations exist in the space of learning how to get paid to learn and then developing a really, really good model of how you're going to transition out of your education into a paycheck. Whereas when we're trying to get content built on a daily basis, that actually pre-assumes that all of that stuff is in order. And then it's like leveraging that, that career path in order to, you know, like, okay, I have that career path. Now let's actually like walk, let's, let's walk down it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so what I'm saying is like for, for you, Steve, like, I don't, I, I think right now these meetings, I want, 